In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can set up a HubSpot form. So the first thing is make sure you're signed into your HubSpot account. I'm in my demo account to show you how to do this, but it's going to work the same. You want to go to marketing and then once you're in marketing, go to lead capture and go to forms. Once you're here, you click on create a free form. Then you're going to be able to choose from embedded form, standalone page, pop-up box, drop-down banner, slide in left box, slide in right box. HubSpot does a good job of explaining what each of these do. Um, most of the time though, you're going to be using embedded form because you're going to want to put this form on your website. So if you're using WordPress or if you're using HubSpot pages uh, or landing pages, then you can just embed it nicely on the page itself. But let's say you didn't have a website, then you can just use a standalone page, which is basically you using HubSpot hosting um, as a website, basically where the form just lives on that particular link. And then you can send that link with uh, whoever with whoever you want. For now, I'm just going to click Embedded Form, and I'm going to click on Next. Then you can choose a template. So they do give you some templates to start with. So you can choose from registration, contact us, newsletter, sign up, support, uh, ebook download, event registration. I like to just build mine from scratch, honestly. But you can play around with these to see um, to see you know if it matches what you need uh, it to do. But typically, I just like to start with a blank template. So I'll click on Start. And then here you can start dragging in and start building your particular form. So of course you want to give your form a name. Um, and then once you give it a name, you can start dragging this over. So you can say, I want the first name to be there. I want the last name to be there. I also want their phone number. Um, I don't think I need their street address. So you can skip all this. And then you can look at other form elements by just clicking the little drop down arrow. So you can have deal information, um some other properties that you can select and you just keep going down you can select some uh, company properties and these particular um, elements will go into the property for uh for that particular thing so for example company property anything that's filled into these elements will go into a company um, property so just keep that in mind so these are actually different from each other because this is a contact property. Um, this will be going into deal. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at these different drop downs, because that information is going to be stored differently. Um, but obviously you can see there's a lot of different things you could do. You can um, have them write some text and then you can edit all the placeholders by clicking this little pencil icon and then just changing it. So you can say, what's your favorite food right if you're just asking them a question or something like that and then they can enter that information here um, you can also do some logic so some if then statements and then you can also make things required or not required just by toggling that on and then once you're done you can uh, click on update or you can click on these little um, tabs up here and you'll be able to continue on building your forum by doing some follow up emails. So when they f when they uh, submit this information, a follow up email gets sent to them. There's some other options as well. So you can display a thank you message or you can redirect them to another page. So maybe you have a thank you page on your WordPress site or uh, ClickFunnels or whatever you're using. Maybe you want to redirect them to another thank you page. So you can just select that and then you can add an external link there. I'll just display this message for now. And then uh, there's some other options down here that you can select, but normally you don't really need that. Before we dive into the rest of the video, we like to thank our video sponsor, CartFuel. CartFuel is the easiest and quickest way for you to accept one-time and recurring payments in HubSpot. All you need to do is connect your Stripe or PayPal account, configure your payment form by adding countdown timers, coupons, or order bumps, then copy and paste the code they provide you onto any site, including WordPress or HubSpot pages. Did we mention CartView has one-click upsells? That's right, your customers can order more products without having to re-enter their credit or debit card with a single click. But you want to know what's the best part? When a sale occurs with CartFuel, your customer's name, email address, phone number, and products they purchase will teleport into HubSpot. It's like magic. This means you can trigger workflows to boost customer retention and decrease refund rates. All this and more with no custom code needed. Try CartFuel for free for 14 days by clicking the link in the description or comment section of this video. All right, let's get back to the content. And then style and preview, 
you can style it to how you like so you can change the label so you see this one it added like a little gray border at the bottom here this one doesn't have it. it's more of like a gray background this one's more rounded so you can kind of play around with those and then the styles where you can actually customize everything so you can choose the text the label color the label size uh, and get really specific to your branding um, if you're on a paid account so this is a demo account so obviously it's not really it's not going to um, allow me to do everything that's why you see this little lock here but if you're on a paid account you you don't have to show this um, this message here it's because I'm not on a paid account but you get the idea and then once you're done you can kind of look at it and see what it'll look like on tablet what it look like on mobile just to give you an example um, and then that's pretty much it that's all you need to do and then you click on update um, and then you publish that and now it's going to give you this embed code and with this embed code you're going to place it on your site so if you're using wordpress all you need to do is drag in an html element and then embed that code in that element if you're using hubspot pages you can do the same thing um, if you're using uh, webflow same thing all you need to do is make sure that whatever landing page builder software that you're using allows embeds so that you can uh, properly place this on the site and start getting those submissions you can also share this link so if you copy this link um, you can see the form here so you can see the url share.hsforms.com and then you can actually send this out to people and they can fill out this form and that will go directly into HubSpot. So for example, let's try it out. So I will put some information here and let's just put a number and pizza. So I'll click on submit and there we go. Thank you for submitting the form. And now if we go into, if we go into, let me just publish this. Perfect. If we go back to all our forms and we go to contacts, you'll see, here I am. Perfect. So this is who I am. And if we look at view all properties, you should be able to see all this other updated information. So I became a lead uh on the 31st and then if you really want to get specific to go back to your forms and click on here and we should see some submissions here so there it is i'm not sure why in the performance area doesn't show that we submitted something because we did and it's it's here um so maybe it takes some time to update so yeah Anyway, that's what you need to do in order to create your own HubSpot form. It's really simple. All you need to do, like I said, go to marketing, go to lead capture forms, and then set up your form, and then embed that form once you're done on your site or share the link. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. It will help us get this video to more people who are looking to use HubSpot for their business. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.